Keep the show moving. Uh, your next band runs a great show in San Carlos. Make it real loud for Chris Beasley. What's up, Punchline, on a Sunday? Amen, amen. Silence, good. Yep. <laughs> Uh, a little bit about me, I am originally from Texas. I went to Catholic school in Texas. Just one, yep, that's okay. No, the Catholic school was good. I went to a serious Catholic school. My principal was um, a pedophile, yeah. Yeah. And I was in the office a lot, a lot. Um, it's okay, it's okay. He didn't touch me, he was racist, amen. <laughs> God is good, right? <laughs> Won't he do it? Amen. Amen. Next thing you know, racism saves your ass. You know? <laughs> Literally. And I'm here for it. I'm all about it. I'm so here for it. <laughs> I know some people get uncomfortable with that joke. Because you realize those white kids got special treatment. Um, <laughs> They did. <laughs> this is a reminder, white privilege, kind of tough, kind of. <laughs> Hold on strong, clinch, something, I don't know. I don't know what you need to do. I don't have it, but I was saved that day. Yeah, no, I live in Cali now, Cali's home. It's just different, man, it's so expensive here. It, gas is high, rent's high. I'm like, Texas, it's racist, but. <laughs> The price per slur is not bad, guys. It's not. I don't know what to tell you. It's not, it's not that bad. Here, I haven't heard a good slur in a long time. White people here keep calling me approachable. Ugh. One white guy called me the N-word. He was like, hi, neighbor. I was like, oh, get back. Too comfortable. Weird. I got a good friend group out here. It's just I look like the diversity hire. And we keep doing things just too far outside of my race. We went hiking. Went to Tahoe. It's like the less racist I get, the more I'm in the woods with white people. Nah. I had a brother of mine call me from Texas like, hey bro. I saw a photo of you in a cabin? <laughs> Nigga, you good? <laughs> I'm like, yeah, this is affluence. Don't call this number no more. <laughs> We're killing it out here, bro. <laughs> uh, I, I uh, moved out here with my wife, got married in 2020. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I felt like that was a good year to give up on life and get married. <laughs> the world's ending. Uh, my wife loves it out here. She loves it so much. Uh, she's super liberal. You know, my wife is white, her husband's black. She votes blue, bank account in the red, like liberal. <laughs> liberal, all right? <laughs> Me and my wife disagree financially on so many things. Like, I am pro life savings. My wife is pro-choice. She treats money like an unborn fetus. No matter what, she getting rid of it. She get... I'm like, baby, let the bank account grow. Let it grow. She calling me the patriarchy because I want to save it. She's like, we going to Mexico. Who knew traveling would cost an arm and a leg? And little toes and fingers. <laughs> I see, uh, ladies, we good? I'm sorry, I'm gonna check in. We good? Sorry. When Roe v. Wade got overturned, my wife came home immediately like, we protesting. I was like, baby, but it's, it's Friday. <laughs> but she called me with a trump card because I'm in an interracial relationship. She's like, we protested for you last summer. I was like, ha. Huh. <laughs> She gave me that Jada Pinkett look. I was like, oh, we protested. We got it. 
I'm out here now. Oh. Very uncomfortable. I shouldn't have been out there. I was out there like Will Smith. Keep my wife's pussy out your fucking mouth. That meant something entirely different than what I had intended. Shouldn't have been out there. I was like a white woman at a Black Lives Matter protest, like, no, 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 no. Protecting these people, it was bad. Send me home. <laughs> Did we get a snort? That was so cute. Was that you, man? I didn't know I was gay, but that was cute, bro. That was cute. <laughs> no, marriage is cool, marriage is cool. I just, I feel like there's things you can't do. I feel like I can't watch basketball with my wife. Cause if she saw real happiness on my face, she would question the marriage, you know? Cause it takes one good game, we're like, oh my God, Steph Curry! She's like, you weren't like this at the wedding. <laughs> You're right, baby, that's my bad, that's my bad. I don't know, basketball's just lit, it's so exciting. Just the energy of it. I've been noticing, like, have you ever watched porn? And you're listening to the ladies, and they sound like they're watching the Warriors. <laughs> yes, yes, go, go, don't stop, don't stop, no, yes, oh, oh. I can't seem to get my wife to sound like that. And it's not me, I know y'all look, it's not me. This is the blackest thing we got going, it's not, it's not me. It's that my wife, man, when she finishes, she sounds like the police. Cause she's just on top of me. Don't move! I said, don't move! Stop resisting. I'm like, oh my god! When did making love become a hate crime? In a racial relationship. Hey, be careful, bro. Be careful. Thank y'all so much. My name's Chris Beasley. Thank you for Chris Beasley, everybody.